Franklin, the marquee swimmer. Leah Neal, an Olympian from 2012. Simone Manuel smashes it. Oh, there's so many cameras. It's gonna get cut <laughs> up, edited. Oh, okay. And it's it's very serious, it's these serious. interviews. <laughs> That's what I do. <sighs> Can I just tell you how pumped I am to be sitting with you three rock stars? <laughs> Missy Franklin, five-time Olympic medalist, and swam at Cal, we should say that. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Leah Neal, bronze medalist from the 2012 Olympics, swims at the fine institution <laughs> called Stanford University, and next to her, Simone Manuel, freshman superstar at Stanford as well. So That's you're it. a little outnumbered here, Missy. I'm a little outnumbered. I'm on my home turf, though. This, this rivalry is serious. What is this? Explain yourselves. Oh, love. A rare moment. A rare, a rare, rare moment. break in the rivalry. <laughs> Rivals hugging. It's all for yeah, show. Deep down inside, we're like <laughs> trying to strangle the life out of each other. It That's was a lot doing. tighter than it looked. <laughs> Missy, let's let's go back to the Olympics, shall we? You come in as as a baby, really, 17 years old. Yeah. Swim away with four. Olympic gold medals, four. <laughs> and everyone says to you, forget college, go get your millions in endorsements and, and, and prepare for the next Olympics. But you said, no thanks, I'm good. I wanna go swim in college. Why was that so important to you? Well, for me, there are so many reasons. It was a really hard decision, but swimming in college is like a totally different kind of swimming. It's this incredible team aspect that I honestly think is impossible to find anywhere else and for me being a part of a team has always been so important and I just wanted this experience so much. And it turned out pretty well for you it in the end. It turned out pretty well. <laughs> I, I, I would make the same decision a hundred times over again. I am so grateful and, and making the decision to come here and making relationships over the past two years that I am going to have without a doubt for the rest of my life. You know, so many girls this year said they've never had so much fun as they did this year. And honestly, as cliche as it sounds, winning was just like sprinkles on top of the ice cream because I don't really like cake. But um, and it, it was amazing. It was amazing. Simone and Leah, you two were a part of history recently. And this happened at the national championships, of course, in March. The 100 free, first time ever in all African-American podium. Simone in first, Leah Yu in second, and then Natalie Hens in third from University of Florida. What's going through your mind at that moment when you're standing on that podium? Uh, I have another race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, pretty much along those lines. In regards to like the whole making history thing, we weren't really thinking too much about it because it didn't really like register while we were on the podium. I think we we're just kind of basking in the moment and, and then it didn't really hit us until after getting off the podium. Yeah. When you were growing up, Simone, did you have someone that you watched that was African-American swimming or did you look around and say, well, this is kind of strange. I don't see many. Like yeah, that. when I was younger, I didn't really find anybody that I really knew. I think one time when I came home from practice one day, I asked my mom, why don't I see many people like myself? So we kind of looked up the history of swimming and that's kind of when I found the answer, and I guess that's kind of made me come to the point of where I am today and trying to work hard and hopefully inspire other people. You three are literally the future of USA Swimming. So what are you most excited about when you think about the next 10 years for USA Swimming? I'm excited about how much fun we're gonna yeah. have. <laughs> I, think, I think that's one of the amazing Because you things. don't have a lot of fun. You know, right? never, never. You'll never see us smiling on a pool deck. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but I think that's one of the best things about this sport and about the people that are in this sport is we have so much fun with it and we work so hard, but every single time we get up on the block, we're excited to race and we just love what we do. Like you cannot physically and emotionally do this sport without loving it with your whole heart. And so I think hopefully inspiring others and inspiring a generation just comes so naturally because we're just doing what we love every day. Mm -hmm. You talk about Missy working hard and I watch and see the hours you put in. I have the utmost respect for the hours that you guys log. What do you think about during those hours? You're staring at that black line. Actually, this is really bad, but like I like basically live my life with every meal, so I'm looking forward to the next meal like, <laughs> during That's practice. That's what you're thinking about? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, and now to my favorite segment. It's called Most Pressing Questions. <laughs> okay. Sounds Are you intense. ready? We're no. ready. <laughs> Simone, fill in the blank. Missy Franklin's shoe size is? <laughs> 13. Oh, yes! <laughs> favorite number. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 like, I think I'm, so <laughs> I wear a size 11 and one time I was complaining about I can never find dress shoes and my mom was like, you need to stop complaining. Missy wears a size 13. <laughs> okay, most important, do you have hidden talent? Like for example, I am a great shower singer. Mm. I don't know if you know that about me. Any hidden talent? Hidden talent. Oh, Missy's dancing. Oh, really? That's yeah. not hidden. She shows it all the time. I do it all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but like, have you it's actually true. seen her like her choreographed dance? Like, I good. love to dance. Yeah. I love to dance. I prefer the the goofy dancing yeah. a lot of the time. But um, any kind of dancing, I love it. <laughs> Here's a talent I bet you didn't know that you even had. I just happen to have a swim cap in my back pocket, okay? And USA Swimming was kind enough to make it. Oh, How look sweet at is you. that, right? Yes. Honorary swimmer. So it's like nothing short of a miracle to get the cap and goggles on for me as an amateur. Can you please walk me through this, you three? So many different techniques about this. So many. So many. Tie like, do you want hair. your bun high or low? Uh, well, what's better? I think low I is think the best low is better. I prefer low. And then you just make it into like a little bun. Mm -hmm. However you want a little bun. You kind of need to. <laughs> two hands because you can't really put on a cap with one hand. And then put it to your forehead. Okay. Pull. All the way over. over. Except that you've got like a huge strand. And then, yeah, and then yeah, you, you tuck. And then you tuck. And then you tuck. All right. On three. One, two. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh. There you go. Yeah. 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 I think it's only fitting that we close out this interview on a very serious note. Put your goggles on. We're going to dance it off. <laughs> okay. Dance it off. Did you not give me the <laughs> <laughs> They're, so They're not the cool ones. They're a little bit big for your face.